What's up guys, my name's Collins Newey. Post Up is my stream and I'm thrilled to be bringing you guys the 2024 US Open Championships out of Griff's Bar and Billiards. We're gonna be bringing you US Open 10 ball, US Open 8 ball, US Open bank pool, and US Open one pocket straight through every day till March 16th. We're bringing it to you live from Griff's Bar and Billiards right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know, I don't treat my stream like a typical pool stream. I don't treat it like that sports broadcast model. I treat it like I'm hanging out with you guys at home in the chat, super interactive, fun, lighthearted. We get down and we have a good time. The best part is, if you don't like that style, you can just hit the mute button and enjoy some of the best pool in the world. It's basically a who's who of the best players from around the world. Either way, come check it out and let's have some fun. Shout out to the title sponsor, Q-Tech. Thanks for uh, doing your part and helping us get here and helping us bring the coverage to you. I guess we're going to jump right into the lag right here. We've got Luca Men and Max Lechner kicking things off today. Uh, Melina Mike joining me in the booth right now. And I'm going to check a couple of things behind the scenes, making sure we're ready to go. But you got Mike with you right out the gate. Good morning, everyone. This is one last side action. I don't know if you mentioned that. Live from the U.S. Open 10 ball championship from Griff's. $10,000 added. We got the best players on earth as Luka Min wins the lag. Race to nine, alternate break. One of these players is going to be out. And uh, I tell you, I'm surprised to see Luka Min on the one loss side because uh, if you guys got to check out the end of that stream that I posted yesterday, he had a chance to beat Carlo Beato, the defending world 10 ball champion, and uh, lost in some heartbreak fashion. So um, great two young European players. And uh, one of them is going to be out of the event after this morning yeah crazy the, the amount of monsters that went to the one loss side in the first round right absolutely ridiculous I actually mean, you know what mike give me albin a yap check check one two yeah yeah no you're perfect okay, all right cool albin yap uh let's see fsr just to name a few of the players who are on the one loss side of this event just shows the um the level of of uh, a player that's here the class of player that's here rather so Good morning. Hope you guys are enjoying everything. We had a uh, long evening, and we're going to have a long day, but we are um, full of energy and excited yeah. and looking forward to um, what the day is going to bring as far as the tournament goes. After this, we're going over to um, winter side action around noon on the um, uh, our time, and you're not going to want to miss it, man, because it doesn't get much better than Alex Pagulian versus Shane Van Boning. Oh, so just a classic matchup, It's going to be epic, man. man. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah. Anyhow, back to the match on hand. Luka Min. I wonder if he's going to take on the bank here. Lays pretty good for a two-way, I feel like. I hope he's going all all defense, all uh, safe here. It's not going to work gonna out. going to leak out a little bit. I wonder if the one ball was just too close to the rail where he didn't like the bank. Because I feel like you could have you know, maybe played shape for the two or gotten safe if you don't. So... Interesting choice there for from Luca. I'll tell you what. When I first heard about this guy, the, my first uh, encounter with seeing Max Le Lechner play online was that set that he won. I forget who he was playing. It was either like, I think it was SVB or somebody. But it was one of those situations where it was like race to eight or something. And he just essentially ran out the whole set. He just burst onto the scene and then uh, had a pretty good year last year. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. In the World if, Nine Ball Tour and other other events. If you know, uh, if you watch the podcast at all, or follow Windows Open, you know how much of a fan I am of Max Lechner. He yeah. is. He is. Uh, I, I. I. I just. I love the guy's game. I love his attitude. He's always in good spirits. Always got a smile on his face. Um, great guy, and plays really good. Um, he just transitioned from Predator to How Q, so I think there's going to be some you know, growing pains and adjustments there. But, you know, talking with Max the other day um, without a camera on, he was like, Mike, Mike I've never, I've never uh, been more comfortable. You know, he said, I got a lot of confidence in my queue right now. And so uh, let's see how it pans out. And for Max, you know, even though he's on the one loss side, I, he lost to a monster, I think, yesterday himself. I don't remember who it was. Maybe you guys in the chat can, can refresh my memory. But... Um, that's just the type of event that it's been so far. So, 
fair warning right out the gate. Uh, we are still stuck with the less than optimal overhead camera. I've got some ideas of how I'm going to move it, but didn't quite have enough time to get that taken care of this morning. So uh, should have that taken care of by tomorrow for all the rest of the events. Hopefully we can get a, a better angle that's a little bit more oh. useful. He lost the filler opening round. No big oh, deal. No, yeah, no kidding. Deal. Really? How, he lost how, that guy? How what do you a forget fish. that guy? Yeah. What a fish. You got to be on the downswing if you're losing to Josh. Yeah. If you're <laughs> losing to, yeah. Got to be on the downswing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hang on one second. Yep. What's up, everybody in the all the rigs from the chat lands? John Sweep, good to see you. Edie Sedgwick, always good to see you as well. Shout out to the. Uh, Shout out to the mods, uh, Steve and, and uh, Sean Wedlake and Ike. Good to see you guys. Let me see what's going on with our stream out to Griff's channel. Interesting by Luca to take the foul here. And it looks like Max is going to repay the favor. Well, he's not going to take the foul. But, I mean, he hit, a, he hit the rail there. Um, but he's going to lock him up. I think he's got a kick here. Oh, he's for sure got a kick here. He really wanted to bury him inside that six seven. So not the not the execution he was hoping for. He's calling the bottom left that you guys are looking at the screen right now. It's great, man. You look around the pool room. If you guys are in the area, make sure and come by. There's a lot of champions that are here. Polish players, German players. Look at this. Oh, look at that. How chilly is that? Hit the hit the replay button there. <laughs> that's oh, pretty man. cold. Um, wow. That's a bit of a roll. Just goes right in there as Max is kind of sizing up the jump shot there. There we go. Video just went live on Griff's TV as well. Make sure and go follow that YouTube channel as the finals of each event is going to be live exclusively Exclusive on there. On that channel, Griff's TV. Max goes for the jump shot, and it wasn't the easiest of ones, but he got close. He threatened. Luca got a shot on the one, but the 6-7 is still a bit of an issue. See how he addresses it. On Windows Open, I do have Albin Ocean and Tyrell Blowers live on there. You guys want to go check that out? Max. A little bit of coffee in the morning. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's right. We got to do some like Uber Eats, some coffee over here for me and you, buddy. Why? Oh, never mind. Collins is a Denny's coffee kind of guy. Yeah, I, I like my Excuse. diner coffee. Excuse All me. I need is one wow. cup. Look at him bend the he, cue ball there, that trying to get spicy. around the three ball. Wow. Right. Goes flat into it, doesn't get up table for the two. Unfortunate, unlucky. Let's see how comfortable he is with these uh, conditions because he's going to have a thin hit here. And it's going to be kind of hard to control everything, Collins. So he's putting some bottom left on, on the cue ball. Oh, he got a thicker hit than I was expecting. Trying to get him up on the eight ball. Did not come through. Left a bank shot for Max. I, I expect him to take this on. This is pretty good. But then again, I, you know, I ain't seen a bank that I didn't like. So Yeah. Hey, uh, Stephanie over on Facebook, I'm pretty sure I actually put the bracket link in the video description on this one. Right, so check out digitalpool.com, search US Open 10 Ball, you can find the bracket on there. Oh, I forgot to share Post Up stream. Excuse wow, me. you remember the name. It's incredible. Is that what it is? Is That's, that the name of the channel? It's called Post Up. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's not called Post Up Stream, oh. but. Okay. Close enough. I'll learn your channel one of these days. One of these days. What's up, Gerard? Make sure to hit the like, hit the share button. Big shout out to all of our sponsors who helped make this event possible. Thanks to them, we're able to get this out live and free for you guys for the next two weeks. YouTube, Facebook. Wow, I think he's kind of perfect here if he wants to go into it. If he can just get a nice 
flat hit off the five and then go right into the six seven i've never known max to be like a super aggressive player but let's see how he's feeling Wow, did he get in that window? Tell me he got the wow, window. How sick would that be? Wow, did he get in that window? Let's That's see what he thinks before we look. The look is going to tell you all. You can't, it's hard to tell with that mustache in the way. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if he doesn't have the window to make it, he can at least... Jackie set, Diamond... Sorry, sorry. No, I was going to say send, it, send the, the six ball three rail. Jackie what are you Diamond say? in the chat has a question for you. Are the Qs you're all selling, you're selling all RFs? I don't know what that means. Raffles, I'm assuming? Maybe. Um... I don't know. So we got Q Tech gave us some cues that were given away along with like we got it's a ton of prizes actually. So it's like uh, this week it's gonna be two Q Tech cues. It's gonna be like 10, 10 combo packs of Town Max racks. We're giving away some ultimate pull gear. Shout out to them because they threw some stuff to us. They're also giving away a free entry into the twenty twenty five U.S. Open event of your choice. We're also giving away an entry into the ultimate pull event out there in louisiana next month so there's a lot of different things that you can win we're gonna have a lot of different winners uh here and so um i haven't put anything out online yesterday we only did it in the room but i will be posting some information um hopefully today so we do have like another queue to um to move as well if you're interested in purchasing direct feel free to hit me up it's a um uh another q tech true wood so it goes a long way to help help us out and big shout out to them for um, for supporting. Oh, wow, what a ball. nice Is kick gonna... shot. Oh, wow. That's, eh, wow. He's going to have a jump. But, man, he hit yeah. that so good. Hit it so good. I mean, geez, Louise. Nice shot there from Luca Men. And that safe was, like, just what I expect from Max. You know, yeah. just play the right shot. Play your percentages. A little conservative, but like it's it's effective, right? I mean, the guy makes a shot, he makes a shot, but more more likely than not, you're gonna get the better end of it if you're Max and uh, Luca with a outstanding return, but a little cold there, not to get some kind of shot, man. See how his jumping skills are. Putting in some work on this one. Oh. Flirts with the pocket, but it's ultimately sell ends out. up selling out the farm. Yeah. GG's. My bad. One rail or two rail position for Max. Center table. Three balls here. Fully expect him to get through these. Looks like he's using that Paggy Lion chalk. Shout out to Alex. Yeah, I've heard pretty good things about that stuff. I got some to give away, too. Nice. Not through the Ralph or anything, but just in general. So... Matter of fact, I think I got some in the room. Yeah. For you, I'll sell it to you. But anyone else, I'll, I'll we can figure out a way to give away some on here. You can buy it though, for me. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> can I buy one of them shirts? Checks in the mail. One of them, uh, one PKT shirts. Uh, we got some coming. Oh, really? Actually, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're not did. here yet. No, no, no. They okay. will be here. Yeah. Okay. I think we got some event shirts and some one PKT shirts that are coming over. So nice. Yeah. Charging you double, big boy. Ten ball here. Nice easy, shot from easy. Max. Let's take a look around the room really quick here while Max racks it up. And also take a shout out to the rest of our sponsors. Michelle Griffin, Realtor, Diamond Billiard Products, Fast and Loose Designs, Town with their new Max Rack template, One PKT. Of course, our title sponsor, Q-Tech, and uh, Premier, Bi Premier Billiards, if I didn't already say it. They're actually the sponsor of the all-around event, so we are having an all-around bonus here at the 
um, event for the next two weeks. So someone's going to get a nice little jelly roll if you're playing and you got a better chance actually if you're playing in all four. So it looks like Mike or Max is about to uh, break here. I don't really know much about Max's uh, break. 10 ball break, yeah. Looks like the right side second ball went short of the pocket. Second, or sorry, left side second ball went long of the pocket. What a terrible cue ball. You know, <laughs> if you like if you like center pocket, if you like it just squatting in the middle of the table. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is up, you guys? We see we see some of the comments in the chat. Good morning to everyone. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good afternoon, depending on what part of the world yeah, you're in. Good evening. Yeah. And yeah. good night. Yeah. What is that? That uh, It was Truman Show. Yeah. Good and in case I don't see you, yeah. good yeah. afternoon, good evening, and good night. There you go. Jim Carrey at his finest. Yeah. The comedic drama. Great matches going on. I'm looking over. I see John Moore warming up. I think he's still on the winner's side. Look at the safe. He's he wants to bury it behind a three, but it's not going to get there. Yeah, Containing like shot, you know. Quite short. What do you like here, man? Because there's not a whole lot of this template and breaking 10 ball doesn't leave a whole lot of. I think, think you got to try to get the one kind of thin and try to send it to this rail. Because if you get the one there. Oh, he's going, he's going behind else. it. That actually like coming oh, from the behind. Kick. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick the cue ball right there. If not, then it goes by the 10 ball in that area. Yeah. I kind of like that shot a lot. That's good. Oh, he's not, he's not going to like gonna this one. going to get a one. jelly roll here. No, no, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's just perfect. Wow. He's, <laughs> he's tapping the table. It's kind of the second game. He's gotten a little bit of favorable favor yeah. the ball, you know, as they say. Favorable roll. Yeah. Yeah. Cannot see that ball at all. He's going for the jump stick. Full length air rush. So you know he's going for a little power here. It's close to the rail. If you cut this ball too much, you got problems. Not only missing the ball, but also potentially going off the table. But if you catch it full, you got to basically land on top of the one on the second bounce for it to go off the table. So that would be pretty unlucky. So close. I'm gonna hang it in front of the opposite corner. And hmm. no no one rail kick to the ball. No swerve to the ball either, to the good side of the ball. And it looks like if you go rail first off the short rail with a swerve, you have to hit it unbelievably thin because it's on the long rail there. Let's see if we can get a decent. But I think you can you can get a good cue ball here. Because you're gonna come off it and then I think go towards Depending on how thin you hit it. Yeah, the odds of making the ball are pretty low. No, no, no. Here. Yeah, not to make it. But, not to make but it. sending the cue ball up table, it's a right. pretty common one pocket shot, actually. Fairly common. Usually the cue ball's a little bit lower, but. Uh, hmm. You're not liking this spot either way. Wow. There, well, you got to call the pocket because it's a one pocket shot, right? You got to call the pocket. Probably doesn't go. Uh, a lot of times you double kiss here and. Half the time it's a good double kiss, and half the time it's no good. Wow. Didn't even hit the ball. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Sean Amani. What's up, buddy?
All right, three balls away. Max Lechner. Let's take a look at some of these scores and matches around the room, Collins. Can we see that? On Digital Pool? Oh, is that where we got to go? You mean like me pull it up right here? Never mind, I got it, but don't, worry, don't do me any favors. I'm, I'm good over here. I'm good. Digitalpool.com, US Open 10 Ball Championship. Check out the live scores. Saw Jerry Stuckert's comment in there. I want to see who's where. These are one loss side that, that is going on, so depending on who's in what position. Could be some... Wow, Fetter's up 4-0. Oliver Ruger breaking even with Tony Chohan right now at 2-2. Hey, look, that's a good matchup there. That's a real good matchup. Tony plays great rotation, but Oliver is a great player. Really one of the most underrated players. Fran's down to Snagaki. That's a, that's a big matchup because Snagaki can play outstanding pool. All right, let's see. Rack number three, you guys. Luka Men to break. Alternate break. Nice square hit. Ball on the side. Look at the cue ball. No shot, though, Collins. No real shot. No real shot. And, uh... Yeah, I like this. I like this. Play it. You know, you can hold it there. Well, with the speed that you want to hit it, though, I think that you sell out a lot when you don't make the ball. Unless you make the ball. And Making the ball definitely helps. That helps. That goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. But generally in pool, when you're playing Hold you on know, American minute. pool, Get pocket billiards, generally, if okay. you want to win, you generally got to err on the side of making the ball. I gotcha. Okay. Well, it's probably why I haven't been that successful yep. playing pool. Yep. So, good to know. You might have just turned my whole... My whole life around here. <laughs> Going pro? Hey, listen. After, the, after that little nugget? Yeah, you never know. I mean, the game's easy. If you're, if you you're just, these guys. You just make the ball. Yeah. There's forward two rails to the left side of the three ball. It's going to slow on, down real yeah. nice here. Then we're going to have an early, an early 10 here. Oh, the three doesn't pass the ten, huh? No, it is not. Is there a built-in two-way shot, maybe? I don't think so. Like it. I don't think so, no. Three ball's not going to be moving very fast once it hits the ten if you shoot at it. It's so hard because even on a safe, you know, the four ball's right there. So where are you going to go with the, either the three or the cue ball? And I think, listen, I, I like the way you played the ball. Obviously, you overran position, but it's. I think he's... A little uncomfortable with the conditions, it looks like. Went after it. Three ball. Look right. at this. Look oh, at this roll. Holy wow. crap. <laughs> it's the replay button. Let's oh, go. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yes. That's like three <laughs> games he's gotten, and he's down 2-0. He's an gotten absolutely a roll. absolutely sick roll. Wow. <laughs> That's actually probably the sickest roll of the tournament so far. Now, early on in the set, makes it a little bit less right you can fade it well that yeah. and having a two-game lead helps yeah, out yeah. keep your emotions yeah. in but check imagine for sure. if this happens hill hill you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. imagine being the guy coming out of the chair to the table if this was hill hill <laughs> imagine if it happens Just to like pure tilt albin or mika or oh yeah you know yep get the popcorn ready did he call the uh the kick bank he did. I would be calling it because I'm going a million miles an hour here. You, Probably seven. You're and a half looking to out come from 10. behind, I think, is what he's, or is he looking to hit in the face? Yeah, oh, like right that, in the face. Like that because the cue ball wants to come back down here. Nice this shot a, there. This is a fantastic shot. Yeah, that is like actually, that is everybody's dream result on that shot, other than making the ball. Right, and which which ball, I just learned, which I just learned is important. Yeah. If you make the ball, you're th generally, you know, you're okay with that. <laughs> you're okay with that. 
<laughs> You're just dropping some bombs here today. Yeah, yeah. Typical. I mean, it's just a typical yeah. Tuesday. Monday? Monday. Typical Monday. Is it Monday? It's only Monday. Wow. You lose all sense of time about here. I know. Six Las ball Vegas. on the side. Six goes. Max is going to have the called. option. And he's taking this on for sure. Yeah, I think you got to go here. Oh, yeah. There's no way you don't. Unless you're playing Mike, let him dog the ball and put it in front of the hole. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You got to know You got to know your customer. You got to know who yeah. you're playing. Yeah. I'm not saying I would do any better. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kendra? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is there a bracket we can see? It's in the video description on YouTube and Facebook. There's a bracket link. Wow, Digital FSR pool. is down 4-1 to one to Snagaki. Upset alert. Who do we like to win this? Coming from Francis Rita Rita in Sacramento, California. That's a good question. Uh, damn, it's going to be tough to beat Carlo. With the cue ball he had yesterday. He was he was kind of struggling pocketing balls yesterday, though, if I'm going to be honest. And I think it's because uh, word on the street was he kind of celebrated a little bit the night before. As Understandably. He as he should. Understandably. But he still came out with a W in that set. Hill Hill versus Alvin Ocean. So, uh, yeah, there's just too many just absolute, like... Got a bit of roll there to get that good a position on the on the four ball. So you're picking the defending world ten ball champion as your pick. Yeah, I'm a nit. Wow. Sorry. Okay. Way to go out on a limb there, buddy. Way to go out on a limb. Wow. Well, let me let me pick the defending champion. Okay. <laughs> Great shot. Great shot. Good shape on the five ball here, Max is. Oh, he's got kind of a funny angle where the follow goes mm. almost directly at the nine. No, I think you got enough to get below it. Let's take a look at this queuing action from Max Lechner. Just picture per look at look at how he moves the queue, man. That is so good. It got if everybody's arm just naturally wanted to move like that, we'd all be world champions. Every one of you. All how many of you guys are there? 133,095. 220. All fifteen hundred of you. World champions. Nice shot there from Max. Three zero. All right, buddy. I got to do some more work. I'm going to leave you to it. Yeah, I, I'll just sit in here and not work. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you said it. I'll see you guys soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back, man. There we go. <laughs> All right. I hear some rumblings that Fedor Gorst is up 5-0 in his match and uh, a couple of other close matches over here. Victor Zelensky. I love watching this guy play. Plays so fast and loose. Major Payne still making himself known in tournaments across America. Looks like we're taking a quick little break here on the feature table. Quick little break, alternate break. We can go back this way. Let's check out this this uh, game right here between who is that? Who's Victor playing? Is that Joao? No, that's not Joao. Who is that? Let me get a name for you guys. I don't recognize him. It is Joao. Oh, no. 
with the seven sitting right in the hole and somehow finding a way to not make the ball and scratch instead. Unluggy. Let's see if we can get a, a decent angle on this uh, matchup between Oliver Ruger and the Tony Chohan. Ooh, we got a little camera shake on this camera. Get a zoom in on uh, the score there. Looks like Oliver up 4-2 to two on Tony Chohan. Oh, here we go. We're going to break over here. Let me show you guys the break real quick. And then we can transition back. Solid break. Shot on the one in the side. Two ball in the middle of the table with a uh, lot of traffic. Tough to get to a pocket here. Let's see what he does. <laughs> Harry Bigler, it's going to be gone tomorrow. I'm getting sick of it. I've just been too busy. Yeah, that was Victor Zelinski. Yeah. Let's see what he comes with here. See if he comes with, uh, you know, maybe a, a decent draw stroke. Maybe I don't. I don't know what he's gonna do here. Try to get to a pocket on the two ball. He's just rolling it, playing safe. Cue ball behind the seven. Just so freaking good. The speed control there. He had about a four-inch window for the cue ball to be locked up behind the seven. And even if he didn't get there, the one ball is in a tough spot. Really tough to get to this one ball. Has Eric Roberts been in any tournaments lately? That kid has potential. No kidding, that kid has potential. Uh, he didn't... I don't believe he came out to the BCA events here in Vegas. I think the last thing I saw him play in was maybe Mini Derby? Maybe the Texas Open? I don't remember where I saw him. Played a great set against Federer Gorst on, on Federer's channel that I did, I did a little work on the mic for. That was a fun match to watch. Ooh. That was a... Small target coming from that rail. He had maybe a quarter of the one ball to hit. Really small target. And Max Lechner is uh, going to go to work here. No problem. Taking a look, deciding how to deal with the three, four, five sequence. The three, four, five sequence is definitely interesting from here. Draws to play the two in the side. Gets dead nuts perfect on the ball. Here it is, big shot here in the context of this rack. Decides to take all traffic out of the equation by nudging off of the long rail. Gets a really workable angle. You can achieve any place on the table with this angle. Any place on the table with this angle. Let's see if he decides to play with a high outside ball and swing around the nine, or if he decides to play inside and try to maybe run into the nine. Looks like he's going five in the side. Yeah, really smart, really smart when there's a ton of traffic on the table. 
trying to move the cue ball as little as possible. Better up 8-0 in 37 minutes. Good Lord. Uh, Joe Meza, as far as I understand, Federer is representing the U.S. in all WNT events. But I don't know. Ooh, whoa, whoa, nine ball. Looks like he just gets clear of the nine ball for the bridge. But yeah, as far as I know, it's only with matchroom events. How long does it take to set up all your stuff, Collins? Uh, man, start to finish out here, I'd say in total maybe 20 hours. It was a lot. SJ86 says, nobody wants to watch these scrubs play. I could actually, I'd go out on a limb and say that there's at least 1,500 people that want to watch them and probably more. Just based on how many people are watching right now. The cool part is, if you don't want to watch, no one's making you stick around, buddy. Cheers. Max Lechner doing some, some serious work here. Playing great pool. Is SVB in this tournament? Yes, he is. I don't think he's here right now. He's coming in around noon, 1230, I think. Looks like Max just stepped away for a second. Asking maybe something of the tournament director. The ghost and this guy this is the guy that Molina Mike was talking about earlier that Oliver Ruger probably the most underrated player in the tournament can play with anybody looks like maybe uh, oh we're going to break right now who's standing by the table there who was that Oh, Brandon. The GM here at Griff's Bar and, Bar and Billiards also running the tournament out here. Will we stream SVB match? I think that the schedule was uh, announced on Facebook on Windows Open. Make sure you're following Windows Open to get all the updates about, you know, the, the happenings in the tournament. Melina Mike doing some good work over there. He's also streaming an extra table right now, Alvin Ocean and Tyrell Blowers. You can check that out if you want to follow that match. But you can see the schedule on Windows Open. This is your first match, second match at 12 p.m., SVB versus Alex Pagulayan. Followed at 1.30-ish, Josh Filler versus Evan Lunda. Ooh, one ball going to find gravity. Nice slick cloth letting that fall in. Hits it just a touch thick, and the cue ball, therefore, underruns just a hair. So now the cue ball is going towards traffic here. As he follows, if he decides to follow, I don't think he can. So he's taking a look at the, the tangent line. Tangent line is going to come right along his cue. So he's deciding, do I want to stun the ball and follow that tangent line a minute? Or do I want to pull the cue ball back and risk hooking myself on the seven? Looks like he's digging deep. Ooh, he might even be drawing around the seven. No, just a quick little stun shot. A lot of options here, too. Could cinch the ball and play the four down here. I'm not particularly a fan of that shot, but you do have the saving grace of the four, the, sorry, the five ball being right over the corner here. So as long as you get some kind of good look at the four here. the I think with the table playing really long right here, too, I think with the how long the table's playing, the, the three rail or the forward three rail position might have might have worked out quite nice as well. But stunning to the other side of the table. Gets a decent look at the four. 
Five hanging over the corner pocket. I think once you make this shot, the rack is over. What is the link for Facebook mentioned other table? Windows Open. Just search Windows Open on Facebook. How much does the all-around pay? I believe it's uh, first is 3000 second 2000 third 1000 It's a $5,000 all-around purse. <laughs> What's up, Slim? guessed after making that four ball the rack becomes quite routine almost like a uh, like the four ball ghost drill especially since the five ball was hanging right over the pocket no matter where you get it's almost as good as having ball in hand and Luca men is gonna take his first game of the set let's take a look back down at that Oliver Ruger Tony Chohan match Five to three, still a two-game spread here. Alternate break, Oliver Ruger running some balls. Looks like getting a rather tough shot on the 10 ball. Nervy, nervy shot here. The 10 ball, in order to make the pocket big, you kind of want to hit it soft, but you don't really want the 10 ball to end up in front of the pocket if you miss. doesn't really matter if you hit the center of the bag. Nice shot by Oliver Ruger to go up to a six to three lead six to three lead pretty good stuff i just realized i have the webcam on this page <laughs> forgot about that fetters match over lickety split any other notable matches going on on this side of the room looks like the prince of pool is down here with the break on the bridge there you go. Back to the action. Looks like we just missed the break, but... Luca Men with an open shot here. Looks like it was a dry break, whoever broke. Ten balls still on the table, I believe. Which would lead me to believe it was Max Lechner with the dry break. And a really tough run out, honestly, from this spot. Like, really tough. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, I mean, even missing that ball with how tough the rest of the run out was... Uh, I think the odds are decent for Luca to get back to the table. I mean, uh, Max is going to have to come with something really special. Three, four, five. Once you get on the five ball, the game is over. But again, the same part of the rack as the last one. Three, four, five. Negotiating the traffic. Not going to be fun.
yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Tickying off two balls, and if this three ball goes from straight in, it's going to be ultra tough to get back to the four if if Max if Max gets on this ball. I'm going to be pissed because that's just not fair. Really tight window for speed, whichever way you go. Even if you follow to the rail and try to trust some right-hand spin to get the cue ball on the good side of the four. I, I don't know. The draw shot doesn't look good either. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Looks like some... Just some friendly back and forth. See which option he's going with. Take a look at the, the tip position. He's going low. Maybe trying to stun to the rail and back out. I have no idea. Maybe big draw stroke. Goes with the big draw stroke and just hits it so good. <laughs> Guys, that looks like such a simple shot to someone who doesn't play this pool or play this game like most of you do all the time. What, he just made the ball and made the cue ball move like three feet. Easy peasy. But to get that exact result is just so good. Is he going to get past the nine here? Of course he is. His name is Max Lechner. Ladies and gentlemen. Depending on how straight he gets on this six ball, things could still be interesting. But if he gets real straight, if this pocket is cheatable to where he can stop the cue ball pretty reliably, no, it looks like he's going to be going around the around the horn here off the six. Looking at his options, whether he shoots the six or sorry the seven in the top left corner or the left hand side. Top left corner is a little bit more natural as far as speed goes. Gives you a larger window for error as far as speed goes. Either way, though, I would not be betting on Max Lechner to miss a ball here. How do you get all of your equipment, including booth, from place to place? Uh, I live in Sacramento, so it was only like a 10-hour drive doing 55 on the freeway. So I threw everything in my pickup truck. I got a little six-foot bed with a lumber rack because I do construction. And uh, just chucked it all in there and hit the road, baby. I can fly, though. Uh, I can get all of my equipment inside some checked baggage. But it gets rather expensive rather quickly each way. I'm talking like eight, 900 bucks each way. Maybe a thousand bucks each way just for the equipment. Because it's rather heavy stuff when it all adds up. First place prize in this event, $9,000. I'm going to be selfish here. I'm sweating that Oliver Ruger match. I want to go check it out again. See what the situation is. That's the wrong table. It's maybe, I think it was this table. Yes, and Oliver Ruger running out again. Versus Tony Chohan. Is this to get to game seven or game eight? We're going to find out, guys. We are going to find out. I think I'm going to move my webcam tomorrow. Move it to a different spot. More fun spot. It's a little dry up there in the corner. I feel like you guys are so far away.
conceded the game. Oh, conceded the match, Tony Chohan. Giving it to Oliver Ruger. Okay, there's a, a mild upset, but then again, like you heard from Melina Mike, Oliver can play. So I know we just missed another break, but I really wanted to see how that match was progressing because on paper it's a fairly notable upset. Let's zone in on the action here right off the break. Looks like maybe there was some, some action during the break. Martin Thomas. Yeah, that's right. Full Circle 5. Not sure what your full name is. Thank you, man. Thank you for the love. I really appreciate it. Glad you enjoy it. Oh, so this is a push out off the break. So Luca made a ball on the break and pushed out to this location. Max does not like it, understandably. Uh, you're never going offense here, right? I mean, you're just going to roll it in and then take the super tough shot on the two because the three's over the pocket? I don't know. He's jacking up like he's going to try and spear this ball in. And it's not going to work out. Except... Is he getting another mild jelly roll here? What line is he looking at there? Banking the one ball towards the seven and sending the cue ball behind the six, maybe? I'm very curious to see what his, his thought process is here. I think what the line he was looking at was, I believe, is banking the one down over here. Yeah. Which would mean he could send the cue ball somewhat like this. Something like that. Maybe maybe even trying to get the cue ball this way. Maybe trying to bend it to get the cue ball over here. You know, maybe with a little uh, stun and left spin, maybe. Let's see what he does. Looks like he's queuing high. Is he just going after it? Runs into the six with the one. Cue ball. Max says, let me have one of them. Those sweet rolls have been looking pretty delicious from over here. Why don't I get a mini one? Can Luca see the pocket? Luca could see the pocket. No roll for Max. No roll. No dice. The question in the chat says 9K minus tax. Uh, these are professional pool players, right? So they have expenses that go towards being able to compete in these tournaments that help with their income. All of those expenses are tax deductible. So I cannot even begin to imagine or pretend that I know what the tax situation of a professional pool player is off of a $9,000 win. <laughs> and I don't think anyone in the chat could either. New Jersey pool player says, I'm just saying US 10 ball open and 10K for first prize seems a thousand times better. You know, honestly, this is only the beginning. I think next year, things are only going to get better. I really believe that. For pool in general. It's over 9,000! Tyranius, or Tyrain... Re I don't know how to say that name. But yes, I get the Dragon Ball Z reference. I am a millennial. I do I need to check on something real quick, guys. I'll be right back.
Okay, all good to go. I don't know, Max Lechner could get there in this tournament. He seems to be playing pretty solid. Now, that being said, he's not getting a ton of pressure from Luka Men. So, you know, maybe if the pressure mounts against another guy like SVB, Josh Filler, Carlo Biado, Alban Ocean, them guys, if FSR comes back and matches up with him on the one last side, you know, with a little pressure, we might be talking a different story, seeing a different game, but... Looking really like he's got the speed dialed in on these tables, big time. That is correct, Marcello. Marcello. Brolan Garcia beat Federer Gorst in round one. That is correct. Max looking dialed as ever. With the 10 ball. To get to a 6-1 lead. I want to check out some scores here. In a second. I think we're back, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Unfortunately, the software froze up on me. It's the first time I've had that happen. <laughs> so hopefully it's just a one-off glitch. And we won't have to address it again. But we're back at the U.S. Open 10-ball championships in Las Vegas, Nevada at Griff's Bar and Billiards. Uh, we're in the middle of a set between Max Lechner and uh, Luca Men. Let me just make sure we're up on all of our socials after that little hiccup. Here we go. Sorry about that, you guys. Glad some of you have found it rather quickly. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I know what caused the problem, and I should be able to avoid it in the future, so... Again, my apologies. We are back. Let me make sure we're back live on Griff's YouTube channel. And it looks like we are. Let's see. We are. Okay, guys. Back in action. Sorry about that. Max Lechner back at the table with an open rack. And a shot on the four to get around the five. It looks like it should work out just fine. I got to go check with the uh, with Brandon Birch real quick to make sure that he gets his stream back up uh, for the venue. So I'll be back shortly. There we go. Yo, Richard Penley coming in with a $10 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'll be right back.
congratulations to Sargon Isaac for winning a new Lucazi infused shaft. Just won it in the raffle that Melina Mike is holding. Make sure you guys share the stream and, and uh, apologize on my behalf for the crash, but we should be good for the duration. I'll just avoid clicking the button that I clicked earlier. <laughs> I was just trying to edit in the background. Jokes aside, we're ready to go. Max Lechner. Speed control shot here. I like I I really like playing this with a touch of inside. I really like playing this with a touch of inside to like open up the angle and it also like slows the cue ball down just a touch. Come down that way. Another way that people like to play it is two rails with outside, like this. He's just going straight at the 10, and he almost misses the 9. Wow. Little surprise there. Maybe the cue ball path had more to do with how thick he hit the 9 ball. Lenny Robinson, I think I did, yeah. I think I did see that. Thank you so much, man. And shout out to Candy Miller. Thank you for the love on Cash App. Max Lechner getting to seven games to one. Another quick shout out to our stream sponsors, Town. Check out their new template rack. It's the template rack that we're using for both the 10 ball and the 8 ball tournaments. Uh, the Max Rack. Michelle Griffin Realtor. One PKT. Fast and Loose Designs. Premier Billiards. Premier Billiards is the sponsor of the all around here. And Diamond Billiard Products. And of course, our title sponsor, Q Tech. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't wait for the one pocket either, Henning, too. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch that and hang out with you guys and sweat all the moves. Tell us more about Griffs. I'll be heading there to Vegas in June for a pool tournament. I have been to Vegas several times, but unfortunately I'm unfamiliar with Griffs. I would like to check out Griffs. I would honestly say probably one of the best pool halls on this side of the country. Uh, good food, good people, great equipment, really well run, good beer, good beer. A uh, bunch of different craft beers on draft. Collins, which form of donation do you get most from? Uh, I would say most people use uh, Venmo. Michael. I was watching Fetter stream and someone thanked Collins and Mike for the stream. I let them know, but passing it on. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed. This is the most time that I've spent here at Griff's. Um, in all of my times to Vegas and every time I come here it gets better so it's really really great that is the most important the beer yeah let's see what Max does with this two ball and then we'll, we'll give you guys back on the, the full screen here don't want to miss this shot really really big shot here uh, in the context of the single game anyway maybe not so much in the context of the set with a massive lead Seven to one, I think you got to be going after it. Probably got to be going after it. Digging deep. You got a really big pocket. You could catch the two ball thick and get extra draw out of the cue ball and uh, pocket the two off the four in a lot of cases too. He does go after it. Who needs the four ball? Let's just get straight in. Wow. Wow, what a shot from Max Lechner. 
Let's head back to the uh, the full screen, boys. When I go in May, I will have to check out Griffs. You definitely, you definitely do. I mean, you'll also more than any other pool hall on this side of the country, you'll see random, different world-class professionals getting in big, big action sometimes. Uh, Brandon talks about how it'll be like a random week in the month and, you know, SVB will drop in or, or uh, you know, Alex Paguline hangs out here a lot and he'll get in big action playing one pocket. Uh, John Mora, of course, uh, always close by playing a lot of big sets. Look at the elevating the cue to Masse into the three ball to get extra... Linear motion down the table. Wow. Wow. Five ball on the rail, though. This isn't a gimme. This is quite thin on the four. The, the cue ball is going to be traveling away from the five at a rapid pace on this shot. Uh, Javier, I actually don't have the stream set up where I can do that yet. I'm still kind of learning all of the options that I have, and uh, I would have to do the replay with the overlay. Larry Cheek asks, Collins, did you say good? I don't know good, good what you're talking about, sorry. Is Griff's open to the public during the tournament? Yeah, they actually run uh, a lot of tournaments during the week on their uh, their seven foot diamond tables here. So, yeah, you can come in anytime. Schmooze with the pros. Have a good drink, maybe some pizza. Wow, runs into the six ball. Look at this little wave, acknowledging. How good that turned out for Max Lechner. Look down the barrel. Back to center table. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Max is going to get on the hill pretty quick. Bob Yoon, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, man. How many total tables? How many seven footers and nine footers? I actually don't know off the top of my head. I, I'm pretty sure there's 12 or 13 nine footers. Uh, there's quite a few seven footers. I'd say maybe at least that number, probably a few more seven footers. Any chance of Savannah getting back in the booth with you? If she comes out uh, again before the end of the 10 ball, if she and her family come out, I'm not sure if they will or not, but she is playing all the events. So we'll be able to hear her feedback about how things are going in the in the bank pool and the one pocket and how she's experiencing it. Oh yeah, it is good beer, Larry Cheek. Yeah, it is. Uh, Ray Norgard, if you're curious about some of the stuff that I'm using, you can send me a, a message on Facebook, Collins Nui. Send it direct to me or on Post Up, and we can uh, I can answer any questions that you have. Obviously, while I'm live, I'm kind of busy, but I don't mind. Sending a few ideas your way. I use these SMTAV PTZ cameras. Well, you're not really going to be able to get a good look at one. It's too dark. You're not going to be able to see it. You missed me? Not really, but I'm glad to have you back. Okay. Appreciate the honesty. What am I missing, buddy? 8 1. Yeah, wow. just an absolute. Oh, boy. Demolition Derby. Look at the kiss off the cue ball for the two to just fly into the corner pocket. Nine ball coming in to, to, so, to just open say, up. hey, what's up? Let me get out of your way, bro. Yeah. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and ye shall receive. You guys better get ready because it's a big one up next. Yeah.
do they sell any of the tables after the tournament? No, this is a pool hall, Joe Mesa. This is a this is a pool hall. That's their bread and butter is the tables. And I don't think they're going to be upgrading their equipment anytime soon, considering they have all diamond tables. All the nine footers and the seven footers are diamond tables. So I can't imagine that they'd sell one unless they end up having mechanical issues with one. But that almost never happens. <laughs> You ought to see this shot that Max made. I got it recorded. The Lion versus SVB up next, buddy. I'm looking forward to that one. It's going to be... Actually, you know what I can do. I think, uh, call me crazy, but I think FSR is out. Stop it. Who did he just lose to? I'm pretty sure he lost to Snagaki. Wow. Could be wrong. Will you guys be streaming the SVB Lion match? Yeah, that is the next match on deck. Oh, excuse me. Never mind. He won from 9 6. Ha! Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Wow, look at this. You Vic want something to drink? Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Victor versus FSR on one loss side. Ooh. That's pretty strong, man. Can we, well, we've watched a lot of FSR already. Yeah. But we haven't seen any well, Victor. Well, we're, we're going winner side right now anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got time. We, we got, got time. time. By the way, what I'll so what I'll do in a little bit is I'll try to coordinate to get an afternoon schedule and see what it's going to look like. So I'll get with Brandon, okay. and, and uh, we'll see if we can pick a match out for you guys. But check out the uh, bracket on Digital Pool. Let us know your guys' thoughts. We're here for you. We're here, yeah. We're here for uh, y'all's entertainment. Collins can hit most any room in the table, and then you know I got. You meant this. to say any table in the room. Is that what I said? You said any room in the table. It's been a long, it's been a long week. <laughs> it's been a long week, but you got the point. And uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Nice shot there from Max. That's going to be nice. game set and match. For Max Lechner. Pardon the cable. <laughs> Just oh, realized yeah. I have one right. Okay. Right in front of the uh, the dealio here. Shane wastes no time. He says, let me hit some balls on that table. As they exit stage left. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. No, no, no. Thank you. Appreciate it. This little match. I thought you said Victor Zielinski and mm. FSR. He's still playing Joel. No, no, no. Excuse me. If Victor wins, the winner of this match, Victor's on the hill, he plays Francisco Sanchez Ruiz next. I see. On the one lost side. So one of them will be out of this year's event. I see. I think Victor realizes he's on camera there. Anyhow. Nice. A lot of great matchups all over the room. What's what's going on here? Big Red against Payne. What's the score? You know? I don't know. Well, we're going to find out real soon. Went Ooh. after the 10 ball. Ain't nothing wrong with the Let's way he hit it. in here. Looks like maybe six four. four. Six to four, yeah. Six four. Yeah. I'm going to do the quick button and womp right out here. Uh, Michael Stillwell, I do have a PayPal. It's it's uh, post up live. Pardon me. Post up live stream at gmail.com. Tell you what, you guys better get ready. Hit that share button. Get it out to all of your pull streams. We got Alex Paggy Lion versus Shane Van Boning up next on the TV table. Feature matchup. I'm pumped, man. I'm ready for that one. Yeah. 